Good morning. This video is going to be about how to get photos and other files from an Apple device like an iPad or an iPhone to Google Drive. So the first thing I want to show you is what does Google Drive look like on iOS? So one of the first things you want to do is whatever tablet you're going to be using, whatever device you're going to be using to take pictures with, um, make sure you download Google Drive to that device and log in with your school account, your Simcoe County District School account. As you can see, your little picture that matches your Scudsby account will show up in the right corner. That's how you'll know you're in the right account. Often Google Drive will show you your priority uh, files first. Those are just files that basically you worked on last or you've put a star on them. If you don't know how putting a star on them works, that's fine. You don't need to, but that's what Google Drive will show you first. You can see down here the priority button is checked. If you click on the file folder, it will pop you into your Google Drive <clears throat> and you'll see all of the folders that you have created there. I'll talk a little more about folders later on in this video. I For this screenshot, I um, went into my at-home resources. This is the folder that I'm using on Google Drive to help organize me for this distance learning uh, that we are doing. So you can see I have folders in this folder and I have uh, files that are just sitting there because I wasn't quite sure where to put them. I haven't organized them yet and I'll get to them when I can. So what you want to do after you have Google Drive downloaded onto your device and you've logged into it, you want to go into your camera roll and in or your photo roll or I'm not a big iPad user, so I'm not exactly always sure of the terminology, but I think it's called a camera roll. Um, you want to tap the select button right here. That will allow you to tap on pictures as or files as many, you, because you're in your camera roll, it'll be pictures, as many photos as you want to upload. So you'll see the blue check mark. That means that those are the files that you are going to upload. Next, you're going to tap the share button. The share button will open a little window that asks you to choose where you're going to share it to. Drive should show up because you have added it to your device and you tap it to choose it. From there, if you have multiple Google accounts on this particular iPad or phone, then it will ask you to choose which account you want to use. As you can see on my iPad, I have my personal one, I have uh, my school one, and I have Maggie's school one as I'm testing things out. Um, so click on your school account. It might ask you to sign in. It might not. If you need to sign in, obviously sign in. Then it will take you, you can, it will take you to this window and you can see it's not quite ready to upload yet. You have to choose where you're going to send the file. So you can see I'm logged in as myself for the school account and then I have to select folder. From there, you want to select which umbrella folder you want, which would be my drive. Then you need to decide where you're going to drop your pictures. As you can see, as I told you before, I have lots of folders. Folders are your friend. I will get to that a little bit later. Inside the folder, if you have more folders, as you can see, I am now inside my at home resources folder and I'm going to tap my picks to drive folder so that all of my screenshots are organized together. Folders are great because they organize your files so you know where they are. If you're doing a social studies assignment and you need to create a document, then you should create it inside your social studies folder. Uh, it might tell you there's no files in this folder, even if there are files in this folder, so um, that is fine. Um, it will ask you, um, if this is the folder where you want your files, then you click save here or tap save here. From there, after all of the uploading has happened, you can check inside your Google Drive, either on your device or on your computer or Chromebook, and you will see all of the pictures are there. Now, after I uploaded them, I went to my computer and I changed the names of them so that I could um, 
so I would know what order to put them in in this slideshow for you. Um, and you can do that as well because otherwise they'll just, Apple will give the pick a, fi a file name that'll be mostly numbers and you won't really know what it is. I'm a great advocate of renaming files so you know what they are. And that is how you get your photos from an Apple device to Google Drive. Uh, one thing I will just go back and talk to you about is folders are your friend so at the beginning of every school year i have my class create inside their google drive i have them create a folder that's got the name of the school year so this year it was 2019-20 and then inside that folder i have them create a folder one folder for each subject that way they know when you are creating a document for math, you can go into your 2019-2020 folder and then go into your math folder, create a new doc, and that document will be in your Google folder. It's an excellent way to keep yourself organized and to know where things are. So I hope that was helpful and uh, uh, I will continue making videos.